as a presenter, if you make eye contact, that's E Y E, eye contact with your audience, audience will say, I will contact you with the capital I. When I say I will contact you, that's the connect you make with your audience. And Santosh, I thought you did a brilliant job on that. Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters and guests, body language, which Santosh was attempting, was it five, Corporate Communication Manual. One of the five areas of body language, eye contact, full mark Santosh, good job. Second aspect, stance, posture, that's the way you stand. It, body language tells us that we have to stand the height that you're blessed with, you to the fullest. Don't bend, slouch or stoop. You did not do that. You have to have your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Don't go backward either. So in terms of stance, Santosh, full marks again. Third area of body language, gestures. The strong points where Santosh is a good dog in terms of gestures. You point in that direction saying, group of girls. The group of girls over there. The girls, the girls here. But you point in that direction, group of girls. Uh, when you said the waiter took the corpse out of the you had gestures. And also we think from our heart. Now Santosh, if I may offer a few suggestions how we can raise the bar in terms of using gestures. Uh, you talk to all around uh, responding and not reacting. I wish you correctly. So I would your place. Friends, there's a very thin line separating, you know, response in one hand and reaction in the other. In fact, they're totally different. Something on those lines. To bring out the message and the thing. Then you said there were a line of cars. You said line of cars. I thought it was a small line, but you wanted to tell us a long line. Five in your place. Where this Kaldi sack it meets St. Mark's Road, right from there up to Mr. Cotton Boys School, all the way there, about 400 meters. It's a long line of cars. Not to, to exaggerate that line of cars, pretty boy like and the gesture. Then you said, we react without thinking. What happens if we have repetitive gestures? We don't know what to do with our hands. If I were in your place, we just react without thinking. Um, then you said our ancestors gave us a good mantra. You didn't have this sign. I'll beat all those. This sign was too close to your chest. If I were in your place, it was the gestures for the audience to see. You know the gesture. If I were in your place, the ancestors gave us a beautiful mantra. Yes, you heard me right. An excellent mantra. Right? Show the sign. Excellent mantra. And you said the, they asked us to meditate for 20 minutes a day. If I were in your place, they gave us a mantra to meditate for 20 minutes a day. I know this is too. But 2 and 0 is close, right? Just to show, it's just, you know, you minimize it, not even 20, looks like 2. 20 minutes a day. That's the third year, just just. The fourth year, movements. Now, I observed Santosh a couple of times, more than a couple of times, you had these small steps. One step to your right, one step to your left, right? That's, I think, something we could avoid. How do we combat that? We have some purposeful movements. There are two types of movements on the stage. What we call, you know, natural sideways, front and back. This is what we need to explain the first one. Sideways. Now we have three stories in your talk, broadly speaking. If I were in your place, the first part, those girls enjoying the coffee, the coffee sweat, you finish that. Now having said that, friends, I finished that story. Moving on to road rage, on where we react, transition. Now having said that, I want to share my incident. So, A to B, B to C, natural. No, the forward and backward movement, FB, not Facebook, forward back. <laughs> now, I, I have stopped reacting, now I respond. If I can do that, you and I can do that. So when I step forward, what tells the audience? I'm stressing, being interested in that, are you? It's a very important point, you kind of get the attention. So that's where you to step forward. The last one, facial expressions. You said the cockroach falling on the girl was not a good thing, right? Because they were little scared, right? But the girl looked very happy, you looked happy. <laughs> the cockroach fell. <laughs> <laughs> So anxious and happy, so you could have had the appropriate facial expression. Um, then you said, when we react, we are anxious. It is pretty much the same decision. You know? When we react, we tend to get anxious. Show the anxiety in your face, right? Um, having said that, strong points, some of those sign off. The project calls for a very good speech purpose. I thought top project stuff, excellent. Clear purpose that we should respond, not react. The organization must be good, very smooth flowing organization. Talk. Just to sign off, I must say, you are, you are very vocal in your thoughts, Santosh. <coughs> very hard to speak, very vocal in your thoughts. It's great to hear that. Talking about being vocal, we want to hear your vocal variety in your next presentation. Mr. G. <coughs> Mr.